Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before that opening bell. We'll be discussing exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, as well as the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Now, just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, hit that thumbs up button, make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. For any of you UK investors, make sure you tune in Monday evening as we'll have Anna covering some UK stocks for us. All right, now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. It looks like we'll be ending the week with U.S. stock futures in the green. We have Dow futures up 0.27% and both the S&P 500 and NASDAQ futures up 0.19%. Galeed Sciences has received approval from the U.S. FDA to expand the pediatric indication of Epclusa in children aged 3 and above for the treatment of chronic hepatitis C virus. The approval is based on data from a Phase 2 study on 41 participants for a period of 12 weeks. The drug showed a cure rate of 83% in all patients. Additionally, Epclusa's safety profile for children in the study was consistent with the results of clinical trials of the drug in adults. Their drug currently comes in as a moderate buy with an average upside potential just over 13%. Investors of Grubhub have given the green light for Grubhub to be acquired by Just Eat in a deal worth $7.3 billion. The all-stock acquisition is expected to create one of the biggest online food delivery companies in the world. About 99.98% of Grubhub investors voted in favor of the deal, which is expected to close on June 15th. Additionally, Grubhub announced the launch of We Serve Restaurants, an initiative to help restaurants develop business in the post-pandemic world. This initiative includes digital tools to drive demand, a 360-degree marketing campaign, Grubhub direct platform to allow commission-free orders, access to consumer data, and a grant program. The Grubhub stock currently comes in as a hold, with an average upside of 15.5%. Parsons has agreed to acquire Black Horse Solutions, a digital security firm that develops and delivers advanced technology and tradecraft solutions. Parsons Corporation is a technology-focused defense, intelligence, security, and infrastructure engineering company. The deal is valued at $203 million and is expected to close in July. The move is expected to enhance Parsons' portfolio of next-generation military intelligence and space operations. Furthermore, the buyout will expand the company's capability in cyber, digital operations, artificial intelligence, and other verticals. The Parsons stock comes in as a moderate buy with an average upside potential of 27%. Magellan Midstream is divesting its independent terminals for $435 million. Magellan Midstream is a company that primarily transports, stores, and distributes refined petroleum products and crude oil. It has access to nearly 50% of the refining capacity in the U.S. Located in the southeastern U.S., the terminal network includes 26 refined petroleum product terminals with approximately 6 million barrels of storage capacity. Their CEO said that the sale of our independent terminals demonstrates Magellan's continued focus on utilizing all available options, including optimization of our asset portfolio, to maximize unit holder value. Magellan plans to use the sale proceeds towards its predefined capital allocation priorities. Their stock comes in as a moderate buy currently, with an average downside of just over 5%. SAKE, or the Science Applications International Corporation, has received a $126 million task order from the Department of Defense. This comes from their Information Analysis Center and is to help support the U.S. Army by providing research and development for modeling and simulation enhancements. Sake said that the Army's ground dominance within the multi-domain operations construct is critical and our team's unique competencies and domain expertise in areas like digital engineering and modeling and simulation will help them sustain that for years to come. Their stock comes in as a moderate buy with an average upside of 4.8%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. Starting off with Chewy, who reported better than expected Q1 results. Their solid first quarter results were driven by an increase in active customers, although supply disruptions and labor shortages continued to restrain the company's top line. 
Earnings for the quarter stood at $0.09 cents per share, compared to a loss of $0.12 cents per share reported in the prior year period. The streets had estimated a loss of $0.03 cents per share. Net sales climbed 31% year-over-year to $2.14 billion, marginally beating the estimates of $2.13 billion. Their stock comes in as a moderate buy with an average upside potential of 30%. Also reporting solid quarterly results was Dave and Buster's. This was helped by the fact that majority of its stores remained open during the reported quarter with capacity limitations and reduced operating hours. Their earnings for the quarter stood at 40 cents per share, compared to a loss of $1.37 per share in the prior year period and outpacing analyst estimates of a loss of 16 cents per share. Revenue climbed 66% year-over-year to $265.34 million, surpassing Street's estimates of $257.98 million. Their stock currently is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 17%. The rest of the day is pretty quiet for earnings reports as we're expecting to hear from companies like Cheetah Mobile, Nathan's Famous, and Vintage Wine Estates. Now let's see which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Amasite. Trading under the ticker AMST, they're currently up 70% in the pre-market. Followed by GBS, under the ticker GBS, currently up 47%. And Protogenic Therapeutics, under PTIX, who's up 33%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Orphazyme. They are currently down 48% in the pre-market. However, this is following a gain of 301% yesterday. We also have Galecto under GLTO, currently down 18%, following a gain of 60% yesterday. And Vertex Pharmaceuticals under VRTX, currently down 14%. So that will be all for Friday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before the market opens. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and we will see you back here next time.